So John, what are we doing, or what are you doing to the windshield window here? Uh, right now, we're sealing in the window uh, with some joint compound plaster. Same stuff that we did on the interior walls as well, or the interior of the exterior walls. And so I want to seal in and hide all of this expanding foam that's used as insulation at the window here. So that keeps it uh, thermally insulated? Mm -hmm. Shuts and the cracks airtight. in? Airtight, okay, good. So this is a thermally insulated home, correct? Um, it is an it is an insulated home that the walls act as a thermal mass. Thermal mass, okay. Yeah. And cool. then we also have a radiant floor heating system that is going to be powered by solar thermal radiation, hot water panels. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, those, those will work with both the floor and the walls to hold that heat. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And so these orange tubes over here are the are the the, the liquid, the ethylene glycol mixture here. Uh, that's correct. Yeah. That's these orange, the, orange tubes. Most of the so, tubes going down into the floor. Soon be connected to the So they're running all through this concrete floor, and then what will happen is the um, the fluid that comes out of the fluid that's in these tubes will come up to the ceiling, or I mean, to the roof, and there'll be five panels on the roof up here. Uh, to show you. So, what's going to happen is the light from the sun will hit the roof, and the energy from the, the light sun will heat that liquid in those orange tubes, orange pipes, and then that energy will then be transferred into the house um, via a, uh, just transferring the liquid from the, the panels on the top of the, the house in, into the floor of the house. So it's a solar thermal or thermal solar heating. So it's here. The house has uh, stucco on the outside, and it's built of these compressed earth block um, blocks. These are naturally derived uh, from the earth in Pine Ridge. Um, Henry Red Cloud has a compressed earth block maker, and what they did last fall was to compress these blocks from the earth, and then they dry laid them. So there's not even a mortar they just come together like kind of like legos so the overall construction is, as john was pointing out is highly thermally in the uh, has a high thermal mass so basically it's not going to go a lot of fluctuation in the temperature so it's going to stay cool in the summer um, and warm in the winter property. Here's the entryway. go inside and just take a quick tour of the So John's working on the kitchen here. Now we've installed the, the cabinets. Here's one of the bedrooms. It's um you can see the compressed earth block on the walls here, the drywall here, and door. And this is the bathroom. It's painted blue. Um, pretty standard 
inside of the house. Um, we'll hot water heater here. So this is connected to the grid. So there's some electric that's coming from the, the grid. And then this is uh, one of the one of the bedrooms for the kids. So we've gone through with a lot of the uh, volunteers from the last couple weeks, participated in a lot of the painting of this property and of the house, and also putting up a lot of the trim, the mud on the joints, uh, as well as putting up the drywall. Here's the water in and out. And then uh, here's the last bedroom. Um, I'm not gonna walk in there. Is there that bottom of this room? And so they painted this red for one of the kids. So one of the kids requested to be painted red. It was really pretty. Like, so maybe over here it's huge, but maybe it's just because I'm looking right at it instead. From See if you can fill it with that stuff. It's a lot easier to work with that than it is with the plaster. Yeah. So if you can, yeah. Do it. Okay. I'll see you can. This is pretty much the biggest section here, so if 